Yeah, Rutland is our cross street. We're actually on 450 Generals Highway. You can see behind me here, we're seeing exactly what Topper just reported, which is the floodwaters now beginning to recede here. But uh, this road is still closed at this time, along with a limited number of other roads in Prince George's County here in Anne Arundel County. And here's how some people nearby in Bowie were reacting to all this just a short time ago. Oh, it's really messy out today. It's a little, it's a little tough to drive in. You got to pay attention, be extra cautious, not drive as fast. The weather's pretty crummy. I mean, there's a lot of flooding in the area, so I wouldn't advise going out. Some of that flooding occurred here in College Park, Maryland, where Campus Drive was closed at the underpass with the CSX and Metro tracks. The situation complicated by construction related to the Purple Line. On Indian Head Highway in Prince George's County, crews out in driving rain doing the dangerous work of clearing drains after flooding shut down one lane of the ramp up to 495. In Springfield, Virginia, a tree down across Old Keen Mill Road. Luckily, no vehicles were struck. In Annandale, the stream crossing at Woodbourne and Spicewood overflowing today and accidents all over the region. Montgomery County's Fire EMS Service tweeting out an overturned car on northbound 270 near East Goody Drive. The driver was injured, but it's not life-threatening, authorities said. Another accident on the ICC, typical of the spin-outs caused when drivers are surprised by standing water on the road and lose control. Beach Drive near Garrett Park closed as Rock Creek has left its banks. Back live now on Generals Highway 450 in Anne Arundel County, Maryland. Davidsonville, you can see the SHA down there, uh, also has a section of the road closed just beyond us where there's even more water on the water. Uh, excuse me, even more water on the road than we're seeing right here. A couple things to note here. There have not been a lot of the water rescues because we didn't get that sort of flash flooding effect that was catching a lot of people by surprise. There have been some water rescues, however, in Charles County, according to authorities there, uh, cars getting stranded and whatnot. There have been no injuries. And there's also a power outage situation going on in Northern Virginia right now. It may be related to wind or some kind of main line failure as opposed to the rain, but it is going on. Dominion Energy reporting to us about 30,000 are out right now and they're working on getting that repaired. Reporting live in Davidsonville, Anne Arundel County, Generals Highway, where that truck could make it through the water. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. <laughs> well, let's hope things just stay calm and can get a little better as we go through the night. Scott, thank you.